So today I have this 2021 Chrysler Pacifica and it's a nice loaded family van. But the short history of this car, it's a 2021, but car has 53,000 miles. So basically not the family drove this car. It used to be a rental. And since I have this car from December 2023, there is two years of usage. Somebody made 53,000 on it. And I just want to show you how cool is that van. And still right now you can buy the new one. You can buy the all wheel drive or front wheel drive. And this car usually it's a hybrid or the regular one. But hybrid doesn't make sense for this car. Believe me or not. Regular one is 3.6, 287 horsepower. And it's making 60. I mean, and it's making zero to 60 in eight seconds. So the engine itself, it is from the previous generation. They modified a little bit, but in general, it is the same engine. But what's the interesting part about this car, Chrysler or Dodge, they used to rent it everywhere. And one time back in 2015 or 16, I went to Colorado Aspen and I got the van for rent. And I was kind of shocked when I got that van for rent because it was front wheel drive. It was a summer tires on it. There is no winter tires and it kind of was normal for the Colorado. So maybe it's still normal and all front wheel drive vans, they are available for rent everywhere. But right now there is a point if you're going to buy this kind of van for yourself as a used car and what are you going to get from the rental? Is it like all the juice squeezed from this car already or there is something left? And I'll tell you up front, this car, it's super cool for your needs, for the family or for the small moving or for the small business. If you want to go this way, maybe it's cool for the Uber, but I never tried before. But in general, the whole idea of the vans, I love it so much because number one, I do have a family and the kids. Number two, I like to have a lot of stuff in my car and the van. That's a perfect choice to do that kind of stuff. And it's just a cool car. For example, I do have a key and it's controlling everything. So basically I can open the door if my hands are busy. So I have a lot of stuff in my, in my hands and I want to put it in the car. I can open the other door and it's still not enough. I can open the trunk by using my only key. That's cool. So what are you going to get after you're going to spend 25000 on a used Pacifica? Uh, you're going to get a lot of space. You're going to get super nice, comfortable ride. The suspension is super soft. But on the top of that, you're going to get cheap maintenance. So basically oil and filters for this car, they are cheap. And the brake pads or whatever you need. The, maybe the most expensive part during your maintenance is going to be tires. But again, it's not a big problem because the Chinese tires, they're available everywhere and they're not bad at all. And this car can take it. Basically for this car, it doesn't matter what you're going to put, what kind of gas you're going to put because it's a flex fuel. So you can put ethanol in this car, which is twice cheaper in California. If somewhere else you're going to see the gas price about 250, 240, like in Utah, I've been there a couple weeks ago. But right now in California, there is a 450, 480, maybe somewhere it's five dollar a gallon for the gas but if you're going to use the e85 ethanol in california you're going to pay about 220 240 a gallon which is twice cheaper than the regular car uh, than the regular gas so basically this car one of those called flex fuel and it's going to take e85 with pleasure so that's a good point and like i say it's not expensive to own this car the gas price Number one, number two, that's the maintenance. The cost of maintenance for this car, I would say it's low. And the quality of this car itself, it's not bad at all. After 53,000 miles, this car in great shape outside. There is nothing peeling, nothing popping out. And inside this car, there is no problem with upholstery or any kind of noise going on on the plastic. It's still great. And all the multimedia things, I like it a lot. The screen is working good. All the touch pads, they are still in great shape. So 25,000, I would say it's not that bad at all to buy the van, used van. Same time, there is a lot of other vans available on the market like the Honda Odyssey. I did that review before. And there is a Toyota Sienna always available for your choice. But those cars are a little bit more expensive, I would say. And again, from my point of view, the van, if it's a family van or van for your needs, it doesn't make sense to overpay because you're not going to get much difference on the maintenance or on the comfort while you're driving that caravan or Pacifica or any kind of other van like Sieta or Odyssey. So let's go inside and see what's going on in this car. So what I can tell you about Chrysler Pacifica, that's like a small house. It is a family van. It's super comfortable. There is a lot of space for everyone. 
for your friends, for your family. And it's super cool to drive van. If you never drove the van before, try it. Especially if you are the kids owner. <laughs> if you do have a kids, you have a family, you're probably gonna appreciate that kind of car. And all the vans for me, super comfortable because I love the cars with a lot of space inside. And all the things inside the car, reachable and what i like a lot about this car the multimedia on this car it's so easy to use it's so understandable and i have no idea why the other automakers they're not doing the same thing there is a lot of kind of similar things for example like the mercedes they have about i would say maybe kind of close by same stuff but it's super easy to use. I like it a lot. There is all the controls about the car, your heated seat, the heated steering wheel, multimedia, and the climate control. You can control it from the screen. You can control it on the central uh, console. That's cool. And it's super easy. I think that's one of the point uh, for the vents, for the family car. It's supposed to be easy to use. That's why this car, like the previous generation, they have a sliding doors on the side. They both working. Uh, you can open it, for example, if you got stuck on the parking lot or somebody parked the car close to you. You can always open the other door and you can just get out from the other side of the car. And it's always easy to jump from the front seat all the way on the back on the third road. If you have to, for example, your baby is crying and you need to give him some attention. So you don't have to park the car and go out and go around the car and jump. You just park the car, jump in the back, do the things, whatever have to be done. You're going back on the driver's seat and keep driving. And this car, it's kind of loaded. I wouldn't say it's fully loaded, maybe, but we have a Distronic Plus. We can keep the distance between the car in front of us. Uh, blind spot assistance, it's there. And there is a lot of things like the master switch. That's the one I'm always comparing with other cars. So the Tesla, Mercedes, Maserati, uh, Chrysler, Dodge, they all sharing the same master switch. And that's kind of a reminder. There is a lot of automakers, they use using exactly the same parts because it doesn't make sense to produce for some of them. If the car is supposed to be cheap on the market, it doesn't make sense to produce some parts what's available and you can buy it, especially for this brand. So what I like about family van, family cars, there is a lot of different pockets. So you can put the phone down there or down here. You can put two phones. There is a lot of boxes right there. You can put coins. Oh, that's cool. I mean, they still doing that stuff for the coins. Who's keeping the coins right now? So there is one more right there. There is a charging stations port. There is a USB, USB-C. There is more USB-C, USB. There is more on the back, on the second row, on the third row. There is a cup holders. There is a box. There is a box right here. So all those pockets and the cup holders, they just million of those. On the top, we have one. We have the mirror. That mirror is super helpful again if you're driving somewhere on the freeway and you want to know what's going on. You don't have to uh, take attention from the road, from the steering wheel. You just check in the mirror if it's really important to stop the car or not. I like all those pockets, all those boxes because you can put a lot of different things inside. You can hide something. You know, you might gonna put something and you're gonna forget about it and you might gonna take it out later on in the next year or two and on the back we're gonna go right now and check what kind of cool things this car has over there but here it's more than enough for comfortable driving and we do have a stitches on the dashboard on the door panels it's kind of reminding me BMW M so I don't know who steal the idea from those stitches but they looks so gorgeous on this pacifica so the key on this car it's like a tesla app so you can open close it you can open the trunk lift gate you can start the car you can open the sliding doors on the left and on the right that's cool so there is a lot of different ways how you can open the sliding doors there is a one button outside basically the handle itself there is one more button on the pillar for the passenger and for the driver you can just push the button on the top and the door is going to be open isn't cool so i'm getting on the back on it actually second row of this car i'm pushing the button and the door is going to close itself 
what we got available as options here on the back number one we got a climate control it is adjustable so you can do whatever temperature you want and it's a fully automatic climate control it's not the manual one number two we have nice armrest on the side we have a usb usb c as always but it's cool i mean actually this car has that and the boxes actually it is available for me also same as for the driver and the front passenger i can put the cap i can put some stuff inside and on the top of that because we have a family car what i can do i can actually slide the seat the mid seat and put it under so i can put this seat down there the second one i can put it down there also and the third road it's going to be straight flat floor if you need it again but same time if you're not going to use this space for the seat you can just hide a lot of stuff inside and it's going to be just like an extra box for your things if you are doing the travel if you are the traveling with your family or yourself doesn't matter and not so many cars has that option now we're gonna put the floor mat back and that's it we are ready to go and the interesting thing those windows they are tinted from the factory mm -hmm. but on the top of it we have a sun shades not all the pacifica has it but again when it's too sunny and too warm outside you just want to put that sun shades as an extra there is no dvd available on the back but again it is optional even from the factory you can order the dvd for the back seats so to get in the third row in this car it's super easy you just go in between the seats but what i want to show you to you let me put this seat down if i gonna have enough room for myself and there is two more passengers and again if i have to if i have to be on the third row during the trip i'm gonna be kind of comfortable that's that's enough space for me there is a as always cup holder there is a sunshade and the climate control is gonna blow in my head if i need some cold or hot air so there is some options i wouldn't say there is no options at all there is some options available and it's just cool practical uh chrysler it is still available you still can buy it there is a hybrids available in this body i'm not sure it's going to save you a lot of uh, money for the gas but in general those cars optional and there is a lot of options you can buy it or you can order it if it's brand new but if you buy it from from the previous rental just pay attention on the maintenance that's the most important thing so you can actually do moving i mean if you are the small business owner and you don't have those big box trucks you can buy a couple of those maybe salvage or maybe super cheap the previous body you can take the seats out and you can use those vents for the moving and make some extra cash man so to get out of the car i have several options again i can ask the driver to push the button because it's so hard for me to push it i can push the button or i can actually drag the handle 